Oh, hey guys, Ren here over at the Hungry Heart Home and today we're getting ready for Easter. I'm gonna do some baking, I'm gonna do the tablescape and just generally prepare for the holiday weekend so that I don't have to feel like in a rush to do anything this weekend and can just enjoy watching all of my favorite Easter movies like Peter Rabbit and Steel Magnolia and all of my Easter faves. So if that is something that you're interested in, in taking a peek at, just keep watching. I'm going to prep for Easter. I got in my Instacart order yesterday. I like to get my groceries done for a holiday meal well in advance so that there's never anything out of stock that I need last minute while doing groceries. And so I got that ready. Um, I wanna set up the tablescape today and just get that looking cute and ready to go for this weekend. And uh, maybe get some baking done too, a little tidying around the house just so it's nice and clean so we can enjoy the holiday, relax. Um, this week is super crazy for Nate. He's finishing up his last week at their old shop and then they are moving to the new tattoo shop. Uh, they get the keys on the 31st. So it's a really big, busy week. And uh, the days that he has off over the Easter weekend, I really just wanna be able to chill and relax. And can you guys see on the table there all the Easter candy that I snack on at night? Yep, yeah. Okay, so let's get going downstairs. Let's go get ready for Easter. Okay, I'm super excited because I'm wearing my springtime flannel today. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, let's go downstairs. All right, so last night I pulled out all of the stuff I might wanna use to decorate the table with, just so I have some stuff to work with. And uh, yeah, let's take a peek at what we got going on here. All right, so I ordered some new placemats. Um, they actually looked a lot nicer online, but they'll do. I've got some new pink chargers, some napkins, some florals that I might end up using, plates, Really cute new cups that I just picked up, which I'm really loving. Serving platters, all that jazz. So that's out and ready here. Uh, I also have some bananas rotting on my kitchen counter and that screams time for some banana bread, doesn't it? I think so. So we're gonna get uh, that on the go before I get to decorating the table, just so it'll be done when I'm uh, done decorating the table and we can have snack, cause who doesn't love that? All right, let's get into some baking. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but anytime I'm baking, I get all of the ingredients ready before I get started. So, all the ingredients are ready to go, all pre-measured, makes my life so, so much easier. And then I can get to work on making sure I don't miss anything in a recipe, because that is a specialty of mine. But yeah, we had some um, extra ripe bananas that were probably about two days from being thrown out. So I figured it was a perfect time to get some banana bread made. And when it comes to any holiday, fresh baking just makes me happy. So let's get into it. Let's make some delightful banana bread. I'm doing walnuts and chocolate chips in this one today. First plan of attack for the table is to get the napkins ready. So I bought some fabric napkins on Amazon and to be honest, I didn't look at the size of them. They're much bigger than I thought they were, but I think I could still make them cute. So I'm going to just kind of zhuzh them up, make them extra cute for the table and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so these are the napkins and then I bought these like 
I don't know what you want to call them, cattails looking things. <laughs> There's some floral stems that I bought and I am going to snip a couple of these off and attach them with some twine to each of the napkins just to make them a little fancier. So I always have a pair of these like wire cutters uh, in the kitchen <laughs> because I use them really often with fake flowers. So I'm just gonna pop down to like the base of it here, clip through the metal. There we go. So I'll cut off a couple of these and then we'll get started on the napkins. basically have like two little cattails per napkin so I honestly think I'm just going to tie the twine through the middle of it and then put my cattails through it really really simple so this is just some twine this one is from Michaels it's an Ashland one super easy I want to do a bow with it so I'm just gonna cut a decent amount down my napkin in the center super super simple then just pull it tight and then you can play around with the napkin afterwards there we go now I want to keep it fairly loose so it'll be easy to undo for dinner <laughs> so I'm just gonna do one little knot there and then a tiny little So really simple, very cute. And then I'm just gonna take the little cattails that we cut, pop them through here. And then any excess that doesn't really need to be on there, we'll give it a cut on here. We didn't wanna cut them down to length beforehand just cause I wasn't sure how long I'd want them to be, but here we go. Super, super cute, very simple. Now to get to making the rest of them. Here's the finished product, super cute, super simple. Honestly, the napkins were like 20 bucks for a package of 20 napkins. The twine was like $3 and one little strand of these cattails was $5 for like the little bundle from Walmart. So super simple, super cute. And I'm gonna use some of the cattails too in some bud vases on the table so it'll all kind of tie together. So now to get situated and set up the plates and go from there. So each little table setting is gonna have one of the placemats, a pink charger. I have these Easter plates that I got forever ago. They're super cute with like little spring animals on them. A little chick on it, another little bunny. So I love using these for my Easter table. So we're gonna put the charger, we're gonna put our dinner plate. and then one of the Easter plates. So that is gonna be each setting on its own. So I'll get those all laid out and then we can decorate the table. All right, so the plates are laid out. They look super cute. I'm gonna change what's down the center because I had it set up as just decor. Now I want it to be functional with some serving platters for dinner, but also have some decor still. So I'm gonna take apart what I do have here with the cake stand and stuff and just kind of change it, add in the serving platters that I'm gonna use and then we'll go from there.
Okay, it's looking super cute so far. I'm really happy with it. I'm just gonna trim a couple more of those little cattail buds and put them in the little vases to add to the table. And then I think we're done. Like, it's simple, clean, and pretty. And it's gonna be perfect for a nice little Easter dinner for the two of us. Okay, so the table is all set and we'll go through the final setup with you guys. Okay, so we've got our placemat, our pink charger. These are honestly just plastic, but they look like a million bucks with everything else on it. We've got these fun um, pink rimmed plates here for dinner and then this will be our dessert plate. The utensils are actually just plastic ones from Michael's, but they're pastel pink and real cute. Then I have these new um, glassware glasses that I picked up. I'm loving how cute they are. And then I just tossed a little gold straw in there just to pull in some of the gold accents on the table because I thought it was cute. This will be one of the serving platters for our dinner. Here are the little willows that we cut off of those um, floral branches there. And then I have this serving platter here in the middle, which is where the main part of our dinner will be served on but for now i just have our napkins that we made together all placed out pretty here because they are too big for the plates on their own and then on the opposite side here we've got one more serving platter so that will be for both our appetizers our main it'll be perfect for easter dinner so yeah like i said guys really really simple just pretty and giving me all of the spring vibes makes me happy and I hope that you guys take time to set your table pretty for Easter as well because you know what just because it's a crazy year doesn't mean we can't still enjoy the holidays let's go check on that banana bread because I am hungry and I hope it's ready <laughs> is a wrap on getting ready for Easter with me. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of baking, a little bit of getting the table ready, and I hope you guys take a little time early this week to get ready for Easter. I know that like I'm not religious at all, but I love a holiday and I love making a big Easter dinner and I love, you know, just relaxing on holiday weekends and really soaking it all in. And I hope you guys take the time to do that yourselves this week with you and your family. I know holidays look very different these days, but you can still enjoy them. I'm gonna go pop on Steel Magnolia because it's an Easter movie that Nate does not like to watch, but it's one of my faves. And if you have never watched it, it is a total must. Um, but yeah, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you're having an awesome one. Thank you so much for continuing to tune in. I am so, so, so thankful for those of you who have been watching and following along as we're growing and learning how to do YouTube over here. I love you guys. I will catch you next week and so will the crazy dogs. Bye guys, have a great Easter.